can do that sort of work, which gives yeah. you orientation. We can do, if necessary, transmission electron microscopy, which gives you microstructure, including diffraction, and that also includes analysis, mm -hmm. which will give you an idea which elements are present. If you are talking about scanning microscopy, you can look at the surfaces, fracture surfaces or polished surfaces, i.e. see possibly the scale which formed, mm -hmm. and you want to see what is under is hopefully still in metallic form. Yeah. My idea will be that you can put it in special mounting and then get cross okay. section. Right, I'm with you. Okay. If you want to analyze only, as you suggested originally, deposit on the surface, mm. then we can scrape a little. Mm. But that will be a product of chemical reaction between original material. Yeah. An environment of yeah. a period of time. So we maybe that will give you the idea yeah. which you want. I don't, I don't think know. I don't think so. I think we need to look at the um, the, we need to look at the presence of impurities in the original lead. Yeah, well that is what I, I think, would think yes. I think that's all we need to do yes. at this present juncture. Exactly. And then later on but come then back with further samples. Coming back to your binder, there might be not original material there, so we have mm. to look what elements are present yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get those atoms extra excited. Yeah. And then, as a result of that, they will start emitting characteristic optical radiation mm -hmm. yeah. with an optical range. And you analyze that using spectrometers inside. Okay. Well, that's interesting. But this is destructive method because you produce a crater. If you want, I can show you eventually the yeah. sample. But you simply erode the material. Yeah, I'm with you. Yes. So it can be used for that purpose as well, mm -hmm. but this is not what originally I thought we would do. Wow, what a beautiful machine. Yeah, this is scanning electron microscope, field emission. Its resolution is on the level of one nanometer, point to point. Excellent. That doesn't mean that we can do analysis mm. at the same level mm. because there is always scattering of electrons within the material itself. Yeah. So they are spreading wider than initial probe size. This gentleman is doing analysis of some materials. So this is the spectrum, for example. Oh, fantastic. Uh, this is just the sort of thing we need, yeah. This is... Oh wow, that's a big beast. Well, not yeah. the biggest, but it is 200 kV transmission yeah. electron microscope. We've got One two others at 300 kV accelerating really? voltage, yes. Great well, if you want, I can show you those as well. So you the difference is that mm -hmm. in scanning electron microscope, you put sample at this level, yeah. and then you process the signals emitted from the sample. Yeah. In this case, Simply, you have to use other electromagnetic lenses to produce the image on the yeah. fluorescent yeah. screen or the camera. Yeah, and in this case, you do not move the sample normally, it is mm. stationary. In a scanning microscope, you move the beam across the sample, and mm. in full screen, throw with that beam, you move another beam on the display. And this is mapping of one to one okay. type. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, let's uh, get the samples done and let's get to work. Okay. The sample for the book from here. And I think that for in terms of the binding rings, there's one binding ring which sticks out. OK, um, so either you can put it on the top there, just as it is on your paper. And then if you decide which O-ring you would like to, or which ring. OK. This one here. You would like to lift it gently. Let's see if it. It won't no. go away quickly, so and quietly, but to this one here, go. we'll have to raise that up slightly there too, in order to, to cut that off. That's it. Okay. And then I think to raise up this corner of the binding here and take a, take a snip from that. You want this? Yep. There we are. Good. Okay. Come on. No. 
about this, really. That's all.